This is the bad boy Joey Janela, and you're watching Dre 41. everyone this is dre 41 and welcome to another episode of pwr rivals last night at kings of coliseum we had some controversial things happen but we have the owner of pwr coming out to make an announcement Last night, last night didn't go the way I expected it to go, but I'm not surprised. Looking at it from a glass half full, the pay-per-view was a success. We have a newly signed talent to prestige in Conor McGregor. We have new tag team champs, Super Luchas, and even better, Ken Washington retained the PWR World Championship. Now, he did win via DQ, but nonetheless, he holds the gold. And tonight, Spike gets his opportunity to possibly win the PWR championship. But let me tell you something, Spike. Your assault against Ken Washington left him injured, but a promise is a promise. And you two will wrestle for the championship. Now, even an idiot can see you. MD had a plan last night, and it was to injure Ken so Spike could have an easy night and win the championship. Well, I have bad news for you, Spike. You won't walk out of rivals tonight holding the gold. That's a promise. I understand now that you have a very clear issue with authority. You don't understand your place. And you just, and just like Icarus, with wax wings, you think you can fly close to the sun. You can't. Tonight I will do what I should have done months ago. What I should have done a year ago. Spike, prepare for the virus. Wait a minute, what's this going on backstage? The Prestige, well, one half of the Prestige getting attacked by the former tag team champions, giving their receipt from last night. Wow, very disrespectful by the former champion. And in the opening contest, we have seen this team make their debut last night at the pay-per-view, and Black Excellence will be going up against them. So these two men here, Black Excellence, they want to uh, climb the ranks again here in PWR and face off with the new PWR Tag Team Champions, the Super Luchas. I, listen, I am so surprised, but you know what? They had one hell of a contest last night 
at Kings of Coliseum. So they deserve the tag team championships. They truly do. Like they did their thing. They went. They went all out. They definitely went all out. So you can't take anything away from that team. I mean, the best you can sit there and say is the better team won that night. And of course, the Souls of Mischief definitely get their uh, their rematch. Uh, they're gonna have to state when they want that Super Battle 86 is just four weeks away, and this team here is ready to go. At a combined weight of 478 pounds, Matt Bailey and Philip Sheffield. And the prestige is here in PWR. And last night, they sat there and took out the Souls of Mischief. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say took them out, but definitely attacked them. And definitely made a statement last night. And tonight, will they be able to do the same? Will they be able to uh, conquer uh, Black Excellence here tonight and show that they are a, a premier tag team? Uh, this team has wrestled around the world, and now they are here in PWR. And we are going to see exactly what they bring to the table here they, they better go all out they definitely better go all out here and now the referee calling for the bell and as this team these two teams get started here and now with the advantage already what's this look like he's gonna work the leg here oh combination moves okay okay working on the knee and the dragon screw good combination moves there and now the, you know what the one thing that I do want to say about the tag team division that it is growing here in PWR, I'm just really surprised that that the Super Luchas were able to win. But you know what? The Prestige better be on point because the Souls of Mischief are not going to take an assault lightly. They're not. It's not going to be no situation where uh, they're just going to take that land down and keep it pushing. But nonetheless, Bishop with the Irish whip into the corner about to tag in Muhammad here. And now look like some some old school tag team maneuvers being utilized here. And now an Irish with oh okay don't know what happened there but a lariat right to the back of the head. And Muhammad definitely wants to get a victory here for Black Excellence. He, he wants to. They want to climb back up the ranks. And and I, I know for a fact that even though the Souls of Mischief aren't the tag team champions anymore, I know for a fact that Black Excellence definitely wants another shot at the Souls of Mischief, uh, even on their way up to possibly facing uh, the Super Luchas. And once again, with uh, Super Battle 86 right around the corner, I mean, every team in PWR wants to rack up those wins, rack up a victory, so they can go for those tag team titles at the premier pay-per-view event of the year uh, for PWR. And right now, Muhammad with the advantage right now Oh, good reversal. Let's see what he's going to do with it. And it looks like an Irish whip into prestige territory here. And a tag has been made. And now working on the leg still. Okay. All right. Oh, damn. Kick right to the knee. They are not playing around. The prestige got a, a target here. And look at the power right here. Backbreaker. Damn. And now pick them back up again. Another backbreaker. Sheesh. He is going in right now. They are not playing around. They are trying to win tonight. And I can understand that, man. I mean, making that debut last night, the one thing you want to do is, is continue that with another victory. And that's what they need to do. They need to do that here tonight. And right now, it looks like Muhammad is in trouble. Damn, he's getting his face thrown right into the turnbuckle here. And once again, the Souls of Mischief have to be looking at this match and saying they want the Prestige to lose. They do. I'm, I'm pretty sure they want the Prestige to lose. But right now, Muhammad getting his leg worked on right now. Getting beat the hell out of. And now an elbow drop right to the chest. And Muhammad is in some trouble right now. He is definitely getting worked over. And now look at this gut wrench. Look at the strength here. Into a sit-out powerbomb. No pin combination there. And now, it might be over here for Black Excellence. Look at this. The Irish hook back into prestige territory. Oh, tried to go for a shoulder block. Didn't get that one off. Picks him up here. Looks like a sidewalk slam. Beautiful move. 
And now Muhammad might be fired up here. It might be over for the Prestige on their debut night here. And he is dazed and confused. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Punched him in the face and now he's dazed. Oh, wow. He ate that. Oh, and okay. I guess he's dazed. I <laughs> thought he ate that for a second, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. He is dazed. Damn, he is really dazed here. Oh, tried to go for a grapple there. Didn't get that one off. Good reversal. Oh, go behind. German suplex pin with the bridge. Referee for the count two. Oh, just the two count. And Muhammad able to kick out here. I'm, I'm sure the Prestige definitely wants to get the victory here. Wait a minute. Pump handle. Pump handle. Oh, into an X Factor. Beautiful move there. Pin with the combination. One. Oh, not even a one count. Oh my goodness, in a month. Oh my goodness, pay dirt. Dropping Bishop, and Bishop is down. Bishop is down. Oh, wait a minute. What is he doing? Oh, go behind. Gut Buster. Damn, he's not playing either. Okay. Prestige ain't playing around. They're going after everybody. Oh, go behind. German suplex again. Damn, Muhammad needs to do so. What is he doing? He's going after both members. Oh my goodness, he is disrespectful. I don't understand this. Yeah, he needs to get out the ring for the risk of loss. And now another go behind. Oh my goodness, another. Another, uh, well, a dragon suplex there. Damn, he is going in right now and now picks him up here. What's this? Oh, into a DDT. Damn. Yo, the prestige is going all out right now. They are not playing. They are really trying to get the W here and going to the wishing well again with that DDT again. Going for the pin here, referee for the count and barely a one count. Bishop breaking it up again. Where the hell is he going? Okay, <laughs> didn't understand that one, but nonetheless. And now putting the boots to Muhammad right now. Ooh, knees right to the gut. Now what is he planning on doing? Ooh, other double knees right to the gut again. And now trying to pick up his opponent here and a back body drop. Good reversal there by Muhammad. I think he needs to tag out. I think uh, I think it's about that time to tag out and let Bishop handle this one. And now what is he going to do here? Irish whip looking like black excellence territory here. Full head of steam and a clothesline taking down his opponent. And now he's he might be trying to finish this one off here. Kick to the gut. Brings him in. Oh, it might be time for that sit-out powerbomb. Might be time for that sit-out powerbomb. And yes, just hit him with that powerbomb. And he's done. He's done. He's done. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Black Excellence able to get the victory here tonight. Wow. Okay. So it looks like, it definitely looks like uh, Black Excellence definitely wanted to... What the hell? What the hell is this? They got issues? Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay, I'm not understanding this. They get the W and there's issues? Okay, I'm a bit confused on this one. And it is about to go down. Last night, Mercedes Jones was able to successfully defend the PWR Women's Championship against Zeandria Washington. And tonight, 
she is going up against the woman who won her match last night as well Aja the Conqueror she wants the gold and she was able to defeat uh, Victoria last night so now it's a situation where she got herself booked in the championship opportunity she's gonna have to make it happen here tonight we're gonna see if Asha is able to make it happen she's she's gonna have to go all out that's one thing that she is definitely gonna have to do this woman here needs a victory to poly that that victory from uh, Kings of Coliseum to PWR rivals would be a, a dream come true for Aja here so let's see if she's able to uh, parlay one victory into another and leave PWR rivals tonight the PWR women's champion I mean Mercedes has, has been on the roll I mean listen you can't take anything away from her she holds the gold and uh, she wants to be the very best in PWR and, and take on all challengers and uh, Aja wants to win she wants that gold she wants to take that away from Mercedes Jones I am not so sure if she can I mean Mercedes is 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 no pushover she's definitely no pushover here so we'll find out exactly what's gonna happen here as Aja waits for her opponent here this is going to be a tough one and the champion is on her way holding the gold here and uh, once again, she, she went all out last night. She fought in the crowd, back and forth. I mean, listen, she went through a full battle and a half with Zandria Washington. You can't take anything away from either one of those two women. They went all out. They shown uh, that they want to be the very best. So it's a situation here tonight where uh, Mercedes is going to, well, if she has it her way, <laughs> show that she still has what it takes to be the very best champion here in PWR so uh we're gonna find out very very soon in the next couple of moments if she still has what it takes to do two back-to-back -back title defenses because I mean this this is this is going to be a tough one here tonight we, matter of fact we have multiple championship matches booked here tonight so um it's going to be a very more uh, uh eventful night here on PWR Rivals and that is what's on the line the PWR Women's Championship Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan the Dominator and Aja ready to take the gold possible Introducing the champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania she is the Pro Wrestling Women's World Champion Mercedes Jones and Mercedes Jones holding the gold. Let's see if she will be able to defend it here tonight after that hard fought match against Zandria Washington last night on Kings of Coliseum. And if you want to watch a replay on that, definitely available right now. So definitely give that a watch if you haven't already. And the gold is on the line. These two women are about to battle for the championship. Who is going to walk away with the title? We are about to find out. Referee calls for the bell and out the gate. A shoulder block taking down Aja here, which I am very, very surprised about. Oh, and now working on the arm of Aja. And now rolling out the ring. Smart move. And wow, caught her with the taunt. And now look at the power move. That sit out power bomb that choke bomb damn just planted her on the mat oh now stomp right to the back of the head and Aja once again was able to dispense uh, Victoria last night at Kings of Coliseum so uh, I mean listen I can't sit there and say that uh, her and a Victoria rivalry no pun intended maybe pun intended is completely over but nonetheless she was able to take out of Victoria last night and get this championship opportunity but wait a minute going for the pin here referee for the count not a three barely a one count there Mercedes able to kick out and then, ooh, a knife edge chop right to the forehead and now what's this power move here I'm mean, cross leg oh my goodness trying to work the knees of Jones here 
And now, ooh, stomping right on the arm. And now look at the strength here. Picks her up. Ooh, and a sit-out slam. Damn. Mercedes is in trouble right now. Definitely in trouble. And now what's this? Irish whip into the corner. Oh, clothesline right to the back of the head. Drops her down. And now what's going to happen here? What's this? Picks her up. Slams her face first right into the mat. Damn. And now working on the leg here. And now what's going to happen? What's this? Oh, headbutt right to the gut. I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say. Hopefully it is no lower. <laughs> I'm going to stop. All right. And now look at this wheelbarrow into a face plant. Damn. Just dropping her face first right into the mat here. And uh, Aja is going all out. And now power move here. What's this? What's this here? Oh, into a sit-out power bomb. Oh, I thought it was going to be a pin combination. Guess not. And I'll well, nope, dragging her away from the ropes. And now going for the pin attempt here. Referee running into the position here. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count. Mercedes was able to kick out there. And Aja still has the advantage here. But she better stay on point. The champion does not play around here. And look at this. Oh, inverted suplex. Beautiful move there. And Aja staying on point. Okay. All right, now you better stay as on point as you can. And now look at this, Dragon Sleeper. I don't think the champ is going to tap out to that. I don't think so. Or or maybe? No? Okay. Good reversal there by Mercedes. Now what's going to happen here? Oh, wow. Just caught her out of nowhere. Picks her up here. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Just powerbombed the hell out of her. And she might be done. One, two, three. Three, Aja just defeated Mercedes Jones and is now the new PWR Women's Champion. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. She just defeated Mercedes Jones for the PWR Women's Championship. One pay-per-view victory turned into a championship victory the very next night and Aja with a new look, new gear, definitely made big moves here in PWR as of late. Damn, went all out here. You got to give her as much props, so much props just now. Look at that powerbomb, damn. I mean, just flat on the mat, out cold. Mercedes Jones just got feeded here on PWR Rivals. Here is your winner and new Pro Wrestling Women's World Champion, The Dominator. And Aja with the victory here and now holds the gold. What is next for this conqueror here in PWR? Congratulations to Aja the new champ and Asha winning the PWR women's championship and wait a minute what the that's that's Tammy Valentine trying to attack the new champion and right now Asha putting hands on her right now clotheslined her out the ring and I guess the baddest wants an opportunity at the champion here in PWR contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the pro wrestling junior heavyweight world championship and this is going to be a very very interesting contest mainly because this man here is getting a championship opportunity i cannot believe it Last night, last night, this man attacked Corey Awesome and was signed to the Violent Gentleman and now tonight has an opportunity at the Junior Heavyweight Championship. I, I can't believe it. I truly cannot believe it. This, this to me is, is beyond crazy. The Violent Gentleman has been able to sign Conor McGregor 
So it looks like even with um, even with Duke Little being suspended, they are able to uh, get another member to, uh, <laughs> to, to to substitute for him. But this new member now is going up against the PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion. I, I don't see. I, I don't know. This, this is okay. Listen, Shot Fox made a statement that he's he's not in cahoots with Conor McGregor. He didn't need his help to win the match last night. And tonight, because he didn't defend the title uh, last night, he's going to defend it tonight and beat the hell out of Conor McGregor. Okay. <laughs> okay. We, we're going to see what happens here. This is a very, very crazy matchup that I would never have thought that I would have seen here in PWR at all. I never would have thought I would have seen this match. But nonetheless, this is the matchup that we are going to see here. This is about to be a crazy one. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 154 pounds, the narcissist, Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor challenging for the junior heavyweight championship. Introducing the champion from Air Scotland, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the pro wrestling junior heavyweight world champion. And Shot Fox better be able to back up his words. He better be able to. Uh, I mean, listen, don't cat, don't don't write a check that you can't cash, please. Like Shot Fox better go all out tonight. That's something that I know for sure. He better go all out. Conor McGregor is is I guess in PWR and is going to. Uh, uh, going to try to win the junior heavyweight championship that I don't know what's going on anymore I truly don't we're one month away from uh, Super Battle 86 so I don't, I don't know anymore everybody is going all out here to be uh, in that pay-per-view so it, it's gonna be very interesting right now Connor is uh going all out right now okay I see what he doing oh my goodness just drop shot Fox throw it across the top rope here Good reversal by the champion here. Okay. Listen, the one thing I would love to see is a competitive matchup. I don't want to see no one-sided beatdown or anything like that. So, Shot Fox, like I said before, better go all out. Damn, Insiguri right to the back of the head. Damn, he just caught him right there. And now what is Shot Fox going to do here? And then another thing, Shot Fox better be wary because violent gentlemen have been showing that they, they do get violent. And they do cheat. <laughs> and now going for the penitent here. Really? Seriously, Shot Fox? Come on. You got to do a little bit more than that. Even though this is his first wrestling match. Damn, the kick right to the back. And Charles Bing better, um, I, I would hope that he just stays right there. He doesn't interfere. Doesn't distract the referee. Just keeps his distance. That's what I'm looking for. I hope we can get that. <laughs> I hope we can. And now Irish whip off the ropes here. Oh, up and under. Okay, drop down. Oh, and that insecure. I knew it. See, he just can't. He literally cannot just just stay on the... He, he can't just stay out of the match. He can't. Oh, my goodness. Dragon suplex going for the pin. Referee for the count. Oh, just a one count. Just a one count. And Con that gave... And see, that gave Conor McGregor the the advantage that's that's what i'm talking about the violent gentlemen have just been doing whatever they wanted here in pwr it just seems like every week is just something new they do this they do that they attack a woman it i, I don't know violent gentlemen or violence united i guess they changed their name violence united literally are they every week every single uh pwr show they literally do what they want and they don't i I don't know if Gabe Williams is, you know, okay with that. But nonetheless, I am thoroughly surprised. But oh, no. Oh, no. It might be over here. Kick to the gut. Brings him in. Double under hook. Tiger driver. Pin combination. One, 
two. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count shot. Fox not able to put him away. Oh, wow. Kicks him in the gut again. And another Tiger driver going for a pin. One, two, three. Conor McGregor just defeated the PWR Junior Heavyweight World Champion. And now his first wrestling match. He has the gold. I cannot believe it. He is now the new PWR Junior Heavyweight World Champion. He was able to defeat Shot Fox. I cannot believe it. And look at that Tiger Driver able to get the pin. Two Tiger Drivers actually to defeat him. Had to go to the Wishing Well again and pull off another Tiger Driver. Shot Fox put up an amazing performance here tonight on Rivals. I, I can't believe it. I just can't. And Conor McGregor, the new PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion, defeating Shot Fox here tonight. I can't believe it. This is truly amazing. I, Conor McGregor is the PWR Junior Heavyweight World Champion. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. He really holds the gold here this is crazy I, I don't know what else to say Connor McGregor is the new PWR junior heavy oh come on they tried to cheat this whole match and now since he has the championship beat shot Fox he's still and there goes Corey Corey awesome coming to the aid of shot Fox here and stopping the attack of violence united and you know for sure Corey awesome still wants smoke with the newly signed Conor McGregor here oh man the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the pro wrestling world heavyweight and it is about to go down. But the owner of PWR earlier tonight stated that Spike will not be walking out as PWR world champion. Is the fix in? Is that the case? Is the fix in on Spike? Will Spike be able to finally become the PWR world champion? This, this. This is a very, very interesting contest, mainly because this, this is a rivalry that has been taking place for months here in PWR. And now it is Spike's opportunity. Last night, last night, they sat there and intentionally disqualified the Legend D to wear down Ken Washington. Literally, that was the goal. And as ridiculous as that is, I, it, it's a great plan. It's a horrible plan, but nonetheless, it's a great plan. Spike is is trying to take charge of his career here. And I mean, you can sit there and say it's underhanded tactics, which it, it kind of is. But nonetheless, if he wins the championship here tonight, then I mean, he did exactly what he needed to. You can't take anything away from him with that type of situation. But here is the undisputed PWR World Champion Ken Washington. He holds the gold last night. He was brutally attacked by Spike. And Spike, the Batman of PWR, he was beating the hell out of him with that bat. I mean, he went to town with that bat. But the fact still remains that... Ken Washington holds the gold, and if he has it his way, he will be defending successfully tonight going up against Spike. This, this is going to be one hell of a main event. Last night was a historic match that ended not so historically, 
but tonight is going to be as well a historic night as Ken Wa if Ken Washington is able to, to win here tonight he's what probably the, the first man in PWR to defend the championship back to back nights successfully and that's what they're battling for that PWR heavyweight championship introducing the challenger from Brooklyn New York weighing in Two hundred forty-two pounds. Spike. And Spike has his opportunity the night to win gold. We'll see if it happens. Introducing the champion from Washington D.C., weighing in at two hundred fifty pounds. He is the pro wrestling world heavyweight champion. Ken. Washington. And Ken Washington with the taped up ribs. Thanks to Spike. Damn. Ribs are taped up. He's, he's yeah, he's not 100%. He's definitely not 100%. And I, I feel that Spike is going to use that to his advantage here tonight. But I don't know, man. Ken Washington is a fighter. That's one thing that he has shown that he is a true fighter here in PWR so this is going to be a battle between these two icons in this company who is going to walk away the victor referee calls for the bell Spike go behind DDT he, I think Spike holds the speed advantage but and that's just strictly because of the size I mean Ken Washington definitely holds a size advantage over him and Spike right now one point but I mean once again you gotta think Oh, Blue Thunder Bomb going for a pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One. Oh, just a one count. Just a one count. But you got to also think, I mean, Spike beat the hell out of Ken Washington last night. There's no way Ken Washington is 100%. Oh, and those knees right to the back. And I know that hurt the ribs. And you can see Ken Washington just, oh, man, he is in pain right now. That It's just something we, I mean... He might not be ready for this match, but a, a, a promise is a promise and a clothesline taking him down. A promise is a promise, and I know for a fact that Gabe Williams does not want... I mean, Gabe already said it. <laughs> if Spike doesn't win, he's fired. But Gabe doesn't want Spike to win. He wants Ken Washington to be PWR champion. Now shoots the half. Going for a pin attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two, just a two count. Spike not able to put Ken Washington away just yet. And now picking up his opponent here. What does Spike have in mind? Oh my goodness, that chop. And Ken Washington just cannot get off the starting blocks right now. Damn. Threw him out the ring. Such disrespect by Spike here. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't call it right now. Oh my goodness, those forearm shots. Damn. He is trying to take Ken Washington out in the boot right to the chest taking down the champion right now and they better not get counted out here because uh he's not going to lose the championship off of a count out i can assure you that and i don't think spike would be happy with a a, a, a half full victory oh and another boot that time catching him in the beard <laughs> right there in the chin and spike is teeing off right now oh my goodness and those kicks to the ribs are not helping those kicks to the ribs are definitely not helping right now. Ken Washington, I am sure, not appreciating this attack right now. And now Spike will try to go for another kick. Then get that one off in a clothesline. And the referee's already at the count of 10 here. Both of these men better pay attention. Well, I mean, Spike needs to get back into the well. Ken Washington help him get back into the ring. Okay, <laughs> good enough. Try to go for an overhand right. Oh my goodness, and caught a left. And now Spike here, what is he gonna do? Picks him up. What's this? Oh my goodness, a stunner right on the top rope there. And down goes Ken Washington and Spike going back out the ring. And it looks like this is where they wanna fight right here is on the outside. Tried to go for that boot one too many times. Oh, and a cross body. Catching Spike, knocking him down. And now, Ken Washington picking up Spike right now. Once again, he's not 100%. If I was Ken Washington, I would try to get this match over as quickly as possible. 
Now what is he going to do here? Irish whip off the ropes here. Picks him up. And a spear. Just speared Spike right. Oh, Spike getting back to his feet here. Oh, clothesline. Another clothesline. And now, oh, trifecta of clothesline. Spike backing into the corner. Ken Washington taking his time. Probably not a gross. Taking his time there did not help him. Oh, jab. Damn. And now what's this? Oh, pay dirt out of nowhere. Just drilled him. And now going for a pin attempt here. Referee for the count to. Oh, almost a three count. Almost a three count. Ken Washington able to kick out. And now what is Spike planning on doing here? Dragging the champ. And now picking him up here. Elbow right to the gut. What? Really? Belly to. I don't even think that was a belly to belly. It was more like a judo throw. And now picking him up here. What's this? Ripcord. Knee right to the jaw. Oh my goodness. And now going for the pen. Referee for the count. Wait, he busted open? Two. Ooh, almost a three count. Almost a three count. Spike was that close to the championship. That close. Oh my goodness. And now trying to pick him up. Ooh, back body drop. Beautiful move there. And now rolling out to the apron. Smart move. Take your time. Take your time. Ooh, and a punch right to the forehead. That's not going to help him take his time. <laughs> Ken Washington wants to retain that championship, I'm telling you. He definitely wants to retain that championship. And, I mean, D did what he needed to do. He, he you know, he softened up Ken. Spike came out, softened him up even more. And now the referee telling him to get back into the ring. And look at that running STO here. And, yeah, they need to get this match back into the ring here. Last thing they want is a double count out. Now, what is Ken? Oh, forearm shot. Damn. What another shot. And now picking him up here. Fireman's carry. Dropping him face first on the apron. The second hardest part of the ring. Spike is in trouble. I'm just putting it out there. Spike is in trouble. He is getting worked. Already at the count of eight here. And now just throwing him around outside the ring here. And now telling him to get to his feet. Ken Washington wants to take Spike out of here right now. And Ken Washington is busted open big time. Oh, goodness. Throwing Spike's face right into the apron. I'm sorry, right into the ring post. Already at the count of 13. And now throwing Spike back into the ring here. And Washington needs to stay on point if he wants to win here tonight. And now working on the arm of Spike here. And Spike needs to do something if he wants the championship for real. Now Irish up right into the corner here. Spike might catch a might catch that uh that pounce. <laughs> I think maybe maybe not. We don't know. And now Ken Washington taking his time. This might be a mistake. This definitely might be a mistake here. Ken needs to do something. Ooh, overhand. And now what's this picking him up here? What's this? Ooh, gut buster. And now into a running senton. Beautiful combination move there. Okay, I like that. And now calling for Spike to get to his feet. This spear is way too close. If he's, yeah, that wasn't going to work. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it just didn't look like it was. And now spine buster by Spike. Pen combination here. Referee for the count. One, two. Oh, almost a three count again. Almost a three count again and a kick right to the spine. Spike, he wants to win. I know he does. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. What is he about to do here? What is he about to do? Oh, my goodness. Running knee. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he going to do it? One, two. Oh, my goodness. Spike just saved his career and won the PWR World Championship. Oh my goodness. Spike just won the PWR World Championship from Ken Washington. This was a hard fought matchup and I mean, Spike was able to stay in there with Ken Washington, even though Ken Washington wasn't 100%. But Spike, now the PWR 
world champion. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Spike holds the gold here and PWR the new world champion. What the hell? I know Gabe is pissed off right now. I know he is pissed off. And what is this? Who is this? Who is this attacking Spike? Spike just won the PWR Heavyweight Championship and now he is being assaulted by this man. Who is this guy wearing this mask and, and in tactical gear? And there is Gabe Williams. He made a promise earlier tonight that Spike will not walk out the champion. And it looks like he's doing exactly that, that he kept his promise and now passing this, this behemoth a chair and now he's attacking spike beating him down with that chair damn he is putting hands on spike right now and gabe williams is luck oh wow gabe williams has the chair and now he's attacking spike i guess this is war now for spike the new champion of pwr 